Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update June 2nd, 2022. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. This is episode 546 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, a bunch of dramas recently passed review, including Angela Baby's Love the Way You Are. A look at some upcoming Chinese dramas in June. Dil Raba denies traveling to Japan with Lu Han. And Huang Minghao denies rendezvous with a mysterious girl at night. But first, here's what's recently premiered, two dramas for today and yesterday. There's Miss Buyer, a modern drama starring Tang Yixing and Yang Shizhe. It premiered earlier today. So this is Tang Yixing and Yang Shizhe in a shot from the drama. Looks like they're both on a bike. And while it's Yang Shizhe's face you see as the male lead, it's actually not his body. That's because the original actor's face was scrubbed out and replaced with Yang Shizhe's using deep fake or what they call AI technology. The original actor was Zai Tianling. Here he is in a screenshot from the trailer released three years ago. He later got involved in a plagiarism controversy and subsequently lost his academic credentials and was cancelled in the entertainment industry. Hence, the drama made the decision to replace his face with that of Yang Shizhe's. Looks pretty seamless in this comparison, but I'm not sure all the shots are this convincing. So if you're following the drama and noticing something is off with his looks, that's why. Set against the backdrop of the highly competitive and cutthroat fashion industry, a down-on-her-luck drifter played by Tang Yixing works her way up the ladder to become an accomplished buyer. Miss Buyer is slated for 24 episodes and is available on IQ.com with English subs. Then there's A Dream of Splendor, a costume drama starring Crystal Liu and Chen Xiao. It premiered earlier today as well. According to Douban, in the drama, Crystal Liu plays a tea house owner who is unceremoniously abandoned by her husband. She travels to the capital to seek justice and along the way helps two women played by Ada Liu and Jelly Lin with their respective problems. She also meets and develops a romance with a dashing gentleman played by Chen Xiao. A Dream of Splendor marks Crystal Liu's return to Chinese dramas after a 16-year absence. She was last in 2006's Return of the Condor Heroes, in which she plays the iconic Xiao Longnu. A Dream of Splendor is slated for 40 episodes and is available on Wii TV with English subs. And that's it for recently premiered dramas. Moving on, Wife's Choice recently announced their premiere date. Wife's Choice stars Sun Li and Yuan Wangkang, and they recently announced a June 6th premiere. As Chinese Drama Info describes it, Sun Li plays a housewife who thinks she's happily married, but after her 30th birthday, notices that her husband, played by Yuan Wangkang, is acting unusual and eventually discovers he's having an affair. Wife's Choice is slated for 12 episodes and will premiere on Mango TV. I'll update again on where to watch with English subs, if available, after it premieres. Next up for drama updates, a bunch of dramas recently passed review. In my last episode, I mentioned that Love Like the Galaxy Part 2 passed review. Well, yesterday, Part 1 passed review as well and obtained an online record number for 28 episodes. So both parts, a total of 56 episodes, have now passed review. The drama can now work towards their premiere dates. Another drama that passed review recently is The Heart of Genius. They obtained their distribution license yesterday for 36 episodes. The modern drama stars Lei Jiayin, Wendy Zhang, and Steven Zhang and involves time traveling and mathematics. And lastly, Love the Way You Are passed review as well and obtained their distribution license for 30 episodes. The drama follows Angela Baby as a modern-day do-it-all Wonder Woman and a younger man played by Lai Guanling who brings a ray of sunshine into her heart. And lastly, for drama updates, here's a look at what's coming up in June according to Sina. Yesterday, Sina Entertainment published this, an online brochure, if you will, to forecast what's coming up in June. 
There are 17 dramas in their forecast, I won't mention them all, just the ones with confirmed dates, rumored dates, the ones I'm personally looking forward to, and the ones I think many of you will be looking forward to. We'll begin with the ones with confirmed premiere dates. So there are the three mentioned earlier in this video. Miss Buyer and A Dream of Splendor premiered earlier today, and Wife's Choice is confirmed for the 6th. Additionally, Mam Hua with Kitty Zhang and Li Zifeng is confirmed for June 5th. Dramas with rumored premiere dates now. Although not officially confirmed yet, many usually reliable bloggers have seen Deer Deep in the Forest with Qing Dong and Li Xiaoran as airing on June 7th. And Hello My Shining Lover with Zhou Chen and Jing Han as airing on June 14th. And the rest of these Sena Entertainment forecast as coming in June but with no official premiere dates yet. There's the story of Xing Fu with Zhao Liying, A Love Never Lost starring Li Xian and Jesse Lee, Immortal Samsara starring Yang Zi and Cheng Yi, Three Bodies starring Edward Zhang and Yu He Wei, Forbidden Love starring Yuki Chen and Dylan Wang, Love the Way You Are starring Angela Baby and Lai Guanling, and Dr. Tang starring Qing Lan and Wei Daxun. There are a couple on the list that I think are quite highly anticipated. Immortal Samsara for fantasy costume drama fans, and the story of Xing Fu for Zhao Liying fans. Which ones on the list are you looking forward to? Alright, that's it for drama updates. Moving on, celebrity updates, and we begin with Dil Raba. Recently, Sena Entertainment reported her as denying she traveled to Japan with Lu Han. It all began on May 31st when a Taiwanese entertainment reporter live streamed about some recent stories in the industry. The reporter's name is Ge Sichi, and among the stories he covered, he mentioned that when he was following Del Raba in Japan, he unexpectedly saw Lu Han. Lu Han is a Chinese singer and actor, formerly of the boy group EXO. He is also officially in a relationship with Chinese actress Guan Xiaotong, with whom he starred in the 2018 drama Sweet Combat. Ge Sichi's statement became a topic of discussion on social media and was interpreted in many different ways. One of the interpretations was that Del Raba and Lu Han traveled to Japan together. When Del Raba's side was asked to comment about it, they said, it's fake, it's nothing. The next day, Ge Sichi issued a statement to clarify that he never said Del Raba and Lu Han traveled to Japan together. He further clarified that he saw the two stars three days apart, they just happened to be at the same hotel. He said that at the time, Lu Han even approached him and asked who he was photographing. Is it Del Raba? Lu Han asked, exuding calm. And staying on Del Raba a little more, she may have the tendency to share cute selfies, but people should not mistake her for being a pushover. This June 1st Sena article says she's taken a number of companies to court for infringement. According to it, she's recently taken an e-commerce company in Guangzhou, a department store firm in Shenzhen, a supermarket in Mishan City, and a few others to court for online infringement liability disputes. According to Sena's research, in the next two months, Del Raba will have 22 online infringement liability disputes to settle in court, and she's won many of these types of cases before in the past. Lastly, for Del Raba updates, sometimes it's weird how life and art are intertwined. While she has 22 disputes to settle in court over the next two months, she also plays a prosecutor in her upcoming drama, Prosecution Elites. Sena Entertainment shared some Del Raba pictures a couple of days ago. In them, she's wearing a white t-shirt and looks like she's studying. The accompanying caption describes it as, quote, In between camera takes, Del Raba studies the ways of a prosecutor, end quote. And that's it for Del Raba. Moving on, Huang Minghao has taken to Weibo to deny rumors. Here's Sena Entertainment's coverage of it, published yesterday. It's titled, Huang Minghao responds to a paparazzo's revelations, denies rendezvous with a mysterious girl at night. Huang Minghao, also known as Justin, is a singer and dancer. He is currently a member of the Chinese boy group, Next. According to the Sina article, yesterday, a paparazzo who goes by the Weibo handle, photographer Big Hammer Liu, broke the news that a male star surnamed Huang met up with a mysterious girl one night. 
Big Hammer Liu is actually a quite renowned paparazzo in the entertainment circle. Somehow he's always able to get these shots of celebrities when they least expect it. His pictures, which seem to be everywhere on entertainment sites and blogs, are always watermarked with his name and Hammer logo. Anyway, the rendezvous news that Big Hammer Liu broke caused netizens to speculate as to who this male star surnamed Huang was, and Huang Minghao's name was mentioned. The speculation got pretty rife as Huang Minghao's side issued a statement to respond. They said that the male star surnamed Huang is not Mr. Huang Minghao. They also said that they were collecting evidence of infringing individuals and urged netizens not to spread rumors and maintain a good online environment. On that note, it's Thursday today, so time for another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. As you guys know, every Sunday we do the Top 10 Chinese Web and TV Dramas of the Week. In this segment, I give some of my thoughts and predictions as to who the champions will be. To recap, last week's top web drama was Daybreaker starring Li Yifeng and Song Yi. And the top TV drama was Love in Flames of War with Shan Do and Chen Duling. Both those dramas were champions for the first time since their premieres, and I don't think they'll be sitting on the throne for much longer. I'm anticipating two new winners. Heroes and Daybreaker have been receiving their share of online praise, but I'm gonna back Legacy, the Republican era drama starring Qing Lan, Wu Jingyan, and Zhang Nan to be the top web drama. And for the top TV drama, I'm gonna back Ordinary Greatness starring Zhang Ruoyun and Bai Lu. I'm personally following it at the moment. So Legacy and Ordinary Greatness, what do you guys think? And that's been another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. Before I let you guys go, I want to give a virtual high five to Martina, who recently became a patron on my Patreon. Thank you for your support, Martina. And that brings us to the end of this episode. This show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It's the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All the funds will support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!